Hey folks, so uh, Python 3.6 is happening um, and uh, I wanted to go over some of the cool new features in Python 3.6 because I think this is going to be a really cool update for the language. It adds some new interesting syntax and um, I just want to give you a quick overview. So I wrote this blog post um, a while ago uh, with some examples. So if you want to, you know, kind of recap this video, you can just go to my site and uh, find it there. I'm going to link it in the description. And uh, yeah, so the first syntactic change in Python 3.6 I want to call out is the new improved syntax for numeric literals. And you can see an example here. So what you can do now is you can add these underscore characters to space your number literals apart. And this is not going to make a um, a semantic difference, right? This is just purely a way for formatting your numbers and kind of how they look in your source code. But still, I think this could be a really handy feature if you're dealing with prices or if you're dealing with um, these constants here, right? If you have these hex constants or a bunch of binary flags, this could be a really good way, you know, to space that out and make that a lot more readable. And um, I think this is a really cool change. Uh, it's something I think that was available in the Swift programming language as well. And it's really nice to see, you know, some of these new features getting added to Python as well. And in, in my opinion, that's another reason why you want to go with Python 3, because the language is under active development and there's new and awesome features being added, you know, with every single release. So, um, yeah, so I thought that was a really cool change. And uh, you can find more about that in PP515. Again, that's linked here in the post. And I'm also going to link that in the description. Um, one of my favorite features in this new Python release is the improved string interpolation. So what that does is uh, it adds yet another way to format strings in Python, and it's called the formatted strings, uh, formatted string literals. And um, this is a new way of formatting that lets you use embedded Python expressions inside your string constants. So here's an example for this, right? So basically, what you would do is um, you would define a new string and then just put an F at the beginning, kind of like you would do um, with a lowercase r for raw strings. And uh, then you can use this new syntax. We're using these um, curly braces. And then you can just put a Python expression in there. So in this case, we're going to pull in the value of the name variable. So we're going to end up with the string hello, Bob. And uh, because this just takes arbitrary Python expressions, you can do, well, you can evaluate arbitrary Python expressions. So you can do arithmetic, um, you can do, um, you can do anything, right? So for example, in this case, we're defining two variables and then in the string constant, uh, we're doing a bunch of math on that and then we get the resulting string five plus 10 is 15 and not 30. And we're calculating that like on the fly within uh, within that string syntax. And uh, I think this is really cool. And it's, it's very similar to the way um, the template literals work in the new iteration of JavaScript. And this is something that, that I've uh, really enjoyed using in, in JavaScript. And so I think this is a great addition to Python, the language as well. Um, of course, these uh, these format strings, they have uh, some more cool features. For example, you can use all of the syntax, the formatting syntax that is available in the uh, string dot format call. So you can do stuff like, hey, we're going to take this error, uh, this integer constant, and we're going to format it as a hex string. And you don't have to, you know, do any workarounds for that. You can just do that with the new formatting literals or formatted literal syntax as well, which I think is a really cool new feature and it's quite a nice addition to the language. Uh, again, you can learn all about this change in uh, PEP 498. So the last thing I want to call out here, and there, there's a lot more um, uh, in, in this release, but the last thing I want to call out here is the uh, type annotations changes. So there's new syntax to annotate um, types for just standalone variables. And I think uh, these type hints are are really interesting. I think they're they're a really um, a really interesting direction. The, the language is going in. And I think it's gonna have a huge impact on how we're gonna be using Python in the next couple of years. So um, I've got a video about how you can set up type hinting and uh, actually validate your, uh, validate your programs against these type hints 
with the MyPy type checker. So I'm going to link that in the description as well. And um, yeah, well, what you can see here, this was possible um, already in Python 3.5, right? You could define um, these type hints like this, and you could do it for function arguments and also for function return values. And now with Python 3.6, this syntax is actually more flexible. So you can use the same syntax or like this uh, colon and then the type for just, you know, standalone variables, which um, which I think is kind of cool. Like previously you had to do that with um, a kind of a special, specially formatted comment, which um, I don't think is ideal. And this just makes it a lot cleaner. And I think it it just makes the whole like writing type Python approach uh, a lot more valuable. So I'm, I'm really excited about this new this syntax, even though it's a small change. And um, yeah, you can learn more about this, this in PP526. And I've also got this other video that's going to show you how to get started with these, um, with these type extensions in your Python code. There's uh, many more interesting changes in Python 3.6. So for example, there's new syntax for async generators and async comprehensions. A lot of people are really excited about that. I think it would need like a longer video to really kind of dive deeply into that. And I might do that in the future. Um, another cool update is that dictionaries are a lot faster and they use, um, well, they are faster. I, I don't think they're actually a lot faster, but they are faster, which is good, right? Because it's like a free improvement that you're getting for, for your Python programs. And uh, they actually use quite a bit uh, less memory now, which is a cool change as well. And uh, another cool thing in the pi, uh, in the typing uh, area is that the typing module, the type hints module is now considered a stable API, which it wasn't really previously and they kind of polished some of that. And uh, I think now it's really a stable foundation that people are going to be able to build their type programs on top of it. And I think it's going to be a huge um, a benefit to Python in the long run because it just makes it so more so much more flexible and uh, we're going to be able to apply it in so many more contexts where it didn't really make sense previously to use Python in. So yeah, pretty excited about that. And uh, there's also uh, a new secrets module you can use to, to generate cryptographically secure, um, well, random strings basically. And that is, is super useful if you're building any kind of web app or authentication system where you wanna create these authentication tokens. And previously it was really easy um, to shoot yourself in the foot with that and to accidentally create um, uh, insecure tokens and uh, now with the secrets module this is all getting cleaned up and I think it's a really valuable addition for web development and for you know other kinds of, of uh, programs that you might write in Python as well so um, yeah if you want a recap of that then check out this article at uh, debater.org and uh, I would also like to point you to the official what's new in Python 3.6 announcement which uh, kind of goes into more depth in what's been changed here and really calls out all the little, you know, smaller changes. But the changes I went over in this video, those were really the ones I was the most excited about. All right, so I hope this gets you excited about uh, Python 3.6.2 and um, I'm lo totally looking forward to use it. I already played with it a bit in a uh, Linux VM where I just installed the latest version from source and um, it's, it's gonna hit a public re release really soon. And then, uh, yeah, we can all start writing beautiful new Python 3.6. Cool. Well, have a great day and talk to you soon.